This is Ray Mosholder with Breaking News Afternoon Edition, hoping that you, your family, and your friends had a marvelous Easter weekend. Georgia May and I sure did. Fox News' Tucker Carlson has clearly said that Ukraine's president is a dictator. Now, fuel is being poured on that fire. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has launched his own all-out invasion of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church leader and the church itself, and has the leader under house arrest while demanding that Orthodox monks vacate a 1,000-year-old monastery amid his crackdown on that church. Ukrainian officials accused the church of harboring pro-Russian sympathies and collaborating with Moscow. The church which distanced itself from Moscow after last year's invasion of Ukraine totally denies the allegations. Metropolitan Pavel, a Ukrainian Orthodox Church leader, has been sentenced to 60 days under house arrest. The court that tried him said that he was guilty of condoning, quote, Russian aggression and inciting religious divisions. Pavel, for his part, maintains his innocence and is described this sentence as politically motivated. Illegal immigration is surging, not only in our southern border, but also at our northern border that crosses into Canada. Right now, Americans are helping tens of thousands of illegals cross into America from that point, tens of thousands. More than 50,000 people, including more than 1,800 CEOs and 1,500 professors, have signed an open letter calling for a pause on artificial intelligence advancement. And although they may have clout in America, China is continuing its work to advance AI. Five dead, eight injured in a mass shooting in a bank in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. One of the dead is the shooter and one of the injured is a police officer. Kentucky Governor Andy Bishar told the television audience, please pray for all of the families impacted and for the city of Louisville. He added, I have a friend that didn't make it. The population of the United States at the end of 2021 was 332 million. Since then, we've had the COVID pandemic and at least 5 million illegals have crossed our border. So out of at least 336 million people, we hear of shootings at schools, buildings, homes, and on the streets. But when you hear a tragedy that has taken any lives, it causes you to think it's happening everywhere, all the time. It isn't. Not in a long shot. Simply happens in America. That's where millions upon millions of people live without experiencing any gun violence in their entire lives. More secure gun checks before selling any gun and keeping guns away from children entirely. That 
is gun safety safely stored in a vault if it's at a home? Would you go a long way in stopping these hideous acts of gun violence? It's still true. People use guns to accomplish what they want to accomplish, leading to that age-old statement, guns don't kill, people do. One more point, if no one used a gun anymore because they were outlawed, they would simply turn to knives, machetes, baseball bats, or grenades to accomplish their dirty work. Where there is a will, there is a way, and all criminals know that. Here's a case in point. One person has died and nearly a dozen more were injured after a 13-year-old boy, 13-year-old boy, crashed into two other vehicles while leading police on a chase in a stolen vehicle in California. A Woodland Police Department officer spotted a vehicle being driven erratically Saturday afternoon. Woodland is located about 15 miles northwest of Sacramento. The officer attempted to pull the vehicle over in a pursuit followed. That's when the car collided with the two other vehicles, causing both of them to catch fire. Four ambulances were requested to this scene. One person died and nearly a dozen people were injured. This is Ray again. Another thing that would cut down on the murder rate is good parenting. 114 years is a long time on anybody's calendar, and that's how long Faith Lutheran Church in Cambridge, Massachusetts has been standing as a landmark, as well as a church in Cambridge. But yesterday, it caught fire. Although an Easter service had been held there just a short time earlier, the church was empty at the time of the fire. More than 100 firefighters helped save the church. The Reverend Robert Lute Johan the church, said the church is a place that is loved by the community. said there is a sign in front of the building and a banner that we put up there ever since COVID began to strike. It reads, we will rise, and we will. And here's more news in brief. Thousands of Israelis, including far-right ministers, members of parliament, Benjamin Netanyahu's own parliament members, participated in a closely guarded march to a settlement outpost in the occupied West Bank today. The march was organized to protest invasion from Palestine. President Biden says he plans to run for re-election, but he's not ready to make the announcement yet. If he finally announces his candidacy, He'll be 80 years old. Take it from me. That's old. I'm 86. Nowhere in those 80s should I have been president. Somebody said, yeah, but Joe Biden has so many years in Congress and vice president, etc. True, but I tell you, 80 years is old, old, old to be running for president. Uh, tell that to President Trump, too.
According to a new survey, Miami is the least neighborly city in the United States. This survey was conducted by AmeriCorps and the U.S. Census Bureau. A 16-year-old boy wanted as part of an investigation into the killings of three teenagers in Central Florida was captured by authorities days after another teenager and a 12-year-old were charged in the deaths and they are to be tried as adults. Los Angeles police arrested three people in connection with an attempted murder and carjacking after the suspects threw a puppy out of the suspect's moving vehicle. The puppy miraculously survived. A Muslim imam was stabbed to death during prayers while multitudes of people across our nation were in church for Easter services and drag queens did something else. They led a protest march in Los Angeles, screaming to protest anti-drag and anti-transgender laws. ABBA's longtime guitarist, Les Wellander, has died at the age of 80 after a short battle with cancer. The Swedish pop group described Wellander's talent as immense and paid tribute to, quote, a dear friend, a fun guy, and a superb guitarist. Wellander released seven studio albums, and two of them made the top 40. Michael Lerner, who started the 1991 film Barton Fink and won an Oscar nomination for it, and who also acted in the movie Elf, has died at the age of 81. And it close with a word to the wise. The FBI is warning people not to use public phone charging stations which have become increasingly popular in places like airports and shopping malls. The problem is that hackers have found a way to introduce malware and other software onto devices through the public. Never kid yourself, Big Brother is watching. More breaking news this evening.